Hey guys. So, I've been uh, noticing that a lot of people have been having some connection issues with Game Ranger, trying to get Age of the Ring 9.0 to work on it. And so I wanted to just uh, clarify on what it's supposed to look like for anyone out there who's maybe trying some alternatives or maybe who doesn't actually understand quite fully how it's supposed to look or work. I did cover this ever so slightly in um, my own Age of the Ring 9.0 walkthrough and install or uh, launcher walkthrough, but um, I didn't cover it in great detail because I just assumed it was very simple and straightforward, uh, but for some people apparently it is not. Alright, so I wanted to just uh, go over this just real quick, nice short little tutorial here. So what you do is you use this little tool here and you go up to click PvP mode and when that happens it'll open this up alright I know I covered this and when I open Game Ranger I'm gonna go join this time I actually have someone that I can join alright so I'm now in his game, and all you have to do when he starts it, or when you start it, doesn't matter who, it's going to take a second here, Alright, so this is what's going to pop up for both the person who starts it and also for you. It's going to be blank in both cases for your first go around. And literally all you have to do is just copy each of these into their respective lines. And that is it. It's not any more complicated than that. Uh, I've seen some strange uh, things that people have been trying, <laughs> I guess. Some people have been consulting the uh, the chat GPT AI to get answers on this, and it's been telling them to create whole new folders with that big files in it. I have not had any issues like this whatsoever. It doesn't mean that these things uh, don't resolve the issues. It's just to say that this is how it's supposed to work the way that I've shown it to you. Um, for clarification purposes, I use Windows 10, and I have not had a single issue with this. Um, it sounds like a lot of people who use Windows 11 are using are having issues with this. Um, but I don't know exactly what's going on. I'm no tech expert. You know, I'm no pro. Um, I just I'm just going with what the Age of the Ring developers have. Uh, have clearly shown us here. Okay. I'm just going to show you it works. And let's get started. And here we are. Who needs something built? Play to your heart's content with people online on Game Ranger. We got work to do. So, again, I wish I could help people more with some of these connection issues. It, I know that one of the most common things that have been happening to people is uh, an error message popping up that says something about uh, Balrog Breath, <laughs> of all things. Uh, it's something to do with the um, the I and I settings, if I remember right something to do with uh, that ability 
and I'm not too sure why that would pop up. I have had this pop up for myself, and what I did to quickly fix it was um, I realized that I had installed the um, I had installed AOTR 9.0 in another account through another account on my computer. I have several different accounts on my computer, and so I installed it on one of the alternative ones because my main one was acting up on me, and it still continues to act up to this day. So I tr I tried to launch AOTR online through that um, that main account, and that's when I got that error message about the Balrog breath. Then um, I decided that I'd try it through the alternative account, and sure enough, it works just fine. So maybe that's something to consider for you guys. Um, again, I'm using Windows 10. I don't know how it exactly works through Windows 11. One last thing to consider uh, that might help you out. I did hear this from the uh, the developers in their um, their standalone video that they came out with just a, a day or two ago, and they were talking about how that um, you need to keep your launcher up at all times for the best performance possible. Um, I'm not entirely sure why this is. They did say something about it. I think it has something to do with how the launcher. Um, something to do with how the launcher basically keeps other files from interfering. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly how all of that works. But yeah, just keep your, your launcher up at all times. Don't close it down after you've popped up the game. And um, hopefully that'll, that'll go a ways towards helping out performance and any other issues. So um, good luck with everything. That's, that's about all that I can do to, to help out. I hope this, this definitely helps anyone out.